my name is Alejandra Carranza and today I'll be talking about Japan's economy, political structure, and foreign relations to help you get a better inside look of Japan. Let's begin with the economy. Japan's industrialized free market economy is the third largest in the world and they are a major economic power both in Asia and globally. They are highly competitive in areas linked to international trade but weaker in protected areas such as agriculture, distribution, and services. Japan has a few natural resources and only 15% of the land is arable, but trade helps it earn the foreign exchange needed to purchase raw materials, and it is now the fourth largest market for U.S. agriculture exports. Japan has also aimed to diversify its sources and maintain high levels of energy efficiency, and it is now one of the most energy efficient developed economies in the world. Its labor force consists of nearly 64.97 million workers. Out of that, almost 50% are women. Overall, Japan's industrialized leadership and technicians, well-educated workforce, high savings and investment rates, and foreign trade have helped it produce a mature industrial economy. Next is the political structure. The chief of the state is the emperor, also defined as the symbol of the state, a position currently held by Emperor Akihito since January of 1989. The head of the government is the prime minister. Japan is a constitutional monarchy with a parliamentary government. The parliamentary government is made up of a House of Representatives and a House of Councillors. Japan also has a universal suffrage with a secret ballot for all elective offices. The executive power is vested in a cabinet made up of a prime minister and the minister of the state. Japan has seven major political parties, a judicial system consisting of several levels of court with the Supreme Court as the final judicial authority. Japan also has a constitution with a bill of rights similar to the one the United States has, but they have no jury or federal system. And finally, we end with foreign relations. Japan is a very high context country, so they maintain diplomatic relationships with nearly all independent nations and have been an active member of the United Nations since 1956. Japan's foreign policy has aimed to promote peace and prosperity for all Japanese people by working closely with the West and supporting the United Nations. While maintaining its good relationship with the United States, Japan has diversified and expanded its ties with other nations. Japan is increasingly active in both Africa and Latin America. They recently concluded negotiations with Mexico, Peru, and Chile and support both regions. Overall, Japan's priority has always been to maintain good relationships with its neighbors. In general, Japan's strengths include their specialization in export trade, their very high national savings level, and their public debt held mainly in domestic inventories. Their weaknesses include government instability since they have had six prime ministers in the last 10 years, their decline in active population and a growing number of workers without job security, and finally, the yen's high exchange rate has also caused a major political problem. I hope the information that I have shared today on Japan's economy, political structure, and foreign relations have helped you get a better understanding of Japan and will help you in your future business plans. Thank you.